Hey everyone, so today we actually have here a 2016 MacBook Pro. This is the A1706 model. What we're going to be doing is installing a trackpad for it. We're going to show you how to do it. So the trackpad does work, but we lost haptic feedback, and that's really important for our client. So we're going to replace it with a brand new one just like this, and it has all the components and chips on it. Um, the only thing it doesn't come with is the cable, and we need to make sure that we are very careful because if we tear that cable, that puppy is gone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you get all these screws out. There's six of them on the back here. So let's just pull them out. Once we get the screws off, now we want to do the back cover. The, there's a little trick I like to do for the back cover because it's, it's a little bit difficult. I mean, you can use suction cups to kind of pop it up. Um, but you do have to be worried that there are two clips. The two clips are on either side here. So actually a little secret, you can actually, there's a little gap here. You can pull it up a little bit and you see you actually get a gap. Let me pull it up. Once you hear that, you can get the clip. You just lift up, you need something that's kind of strong to do that. Now since we got one that's right here, we want to do the same thing to the other side. You can just slide it on down here. So make sure it's lifted up. You want to get in a little bit so you get some pressure. Just pop it up just like that. Don't go too hard because you can break something. All right, so now since it's up, all we have to do really is slide it down. <laughs> That's all you have to do, but yeah, it's a pain still. Um, there's two ways you can just slide it because there are two catches on each side here. So you just go on each side. You just put pressure on each side, and you'll hear a little clip, clip. Now pretty much slide it off there. Now you can just kind of pull it. It is a little bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. So here's the, the two clips. All right. Since we made it to the back, it's actually a miracle we made it this far. So be happy. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now we want to make sure we remove the battery connection. It's a very, very fragile. This is a very dangerous spot. Um, just make sure there's a little covering over here that goes over it. So there's a little catch right here. You just want to make sure you peel it back. Be very gentle. Be very careful. It's a little bit, they do put a little bit of glue there just to have a little bit more fun. And you want to make sure you can just detach it. So it's just the ribbon cable here. If you just pop that up, you should be good. So let's do that. Let's do that back. All right. So then once you do that, the machine doesn't have power anymore. All right, guys. So what we want to do now, we want to make sure we take out the trackpad cable and then all the screws that go around it. So if you're not too sure where that goes, the trackpad cable goes under there. And this is the actual cable that goes to it. So let's just pop that out so we don't have any struggle or anything. We don't have to worry about stuff. And of course, then the screws that go around it there. Okay, and be very careful just with this cable. It is very fragile. And it's a little bit glued here, just a little bit. So we just want to peel it back just a little bit, but not to get in our way, you know. Now the trackpad screws. Of course, just be careful of the cable. So before we pull it out, we lift the screen. Let's just pull it back very gently, but let's just lift it up. Let's bend the cable through, just like that. Okay. And here's the old one. So it looks just like that one. Now all we want to do is make sure we put it back the same way. So let's take out this cable. So I'm going to try to show you the best I can. This is part at the very bottom is glued here. So I, I see why it, I would I would honestly suggest because this is pretty dangerous. Um, just get one with a trackpad cable if you can, or get one with it. It might be a little bit more, but it'll be totally worth it. Just in case, because this. There we go. Okay. 
Now I gotta hope that we did that all right and that we didn't damage anything, which I don't think we did because it does look pretty healthy and there's no tears or anything. But still, if you can see here, there's an adhesive strip. You can kind of see on the reflection, it's an adhesive strip that goes in there. It's just absolutely fantastic, you know. Try not to bend the cable. You can crease it a little bit, but you don't want to, you have to be very careful because it is fragile. Um, it does feel like it's kind of stuck in there. I can kind of feel it. I can't really push it in anymore. Sometimes you get a little bend in it and you just kind of shove it in like that. Sometimes you get a little crease and then you just shove it in just like this on this side. Once you see it kind of looks like the other one matches up, then you can just close it up. Alright, and now that should be all good to go. Now from the old one, we actually want to put back the plates that came off. And uh, these kind of go up here, the little silver plates from the old one. Put the cable through first. Right, let's feed it through. Make sure it extends all the way. And we can kind of get a little bit of a match up everything here. You can kind of feel everything go in place. Let's get the cable out of the way. We want to make sure you put all the screws in. So once you do that, now you want to make sure you clip in the trackpad cable. It's a nice clip. You can feel it. It feels pretty good. It's flat. Now we want to make sure we put on the little cover for it. Once you get everything in, once it looks secure, let's just open it to make sure it looks pretty secure. It feels pretty solid, which it does. Okay, so let's feel pretty confident and that should be it. Um, let's make sure we plug this in. And again, be very careful about this cable. It's, it's everything, so close it up. Now before we totally close it and we don't want to do the latches again, let's just check to see if it works. All right, and as you can see, the trackpad is working fine. Looks good. I could feel the, I could feel the haptic feedback too on it. Can't really get a noise for you guys, but it does work. Everything looks good. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. Again, just there's two cables you want to be careful of. Of course, the power cable, and the trackpad cable. Um, I would recommend buying one that does have a cable with it. Definitely do that because it's just in case it is glued there at the bottom. If you get a little bit of a tear, you could rip it. So make sure you do that. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, we can put on the lid for you, but you know how fun that is, and we don't really want to get into that one again. So anyways, if this helped a lot, please leave a like down below. Please subscribe for more content. We actually do have a lot more cool stuff coming along. Um, we'll show you what we can do. We try to do more hardware repairs and um, stuff like that, and anything that's really interesting that we think you guys should know, we're going to keep it up. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.